What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, all right, we're going back to Sleep Token. Yes, indeed, Sleep Token fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Charles B, and this is actually one of Charles's three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Charles. Hope you enjoy the show, man. Charles wants to see me react to this. It is Sleep Token with a tune called Like That. You like that, girl? That's how it goes. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So it's always if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hold it. I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. As always, Charles has provided me with an intro to read to you guys, so here we go. After reacting to Alkaline twice, you're finally getting to hear the second track from Sleep Token's second album, This Place Will Become Your Tomb. This one's called Like That. In your reaction to the offering, you mistakenly thought at that point that Sleep Token did not play any real instruments and that everything was digital. Well, with your last reaction, which was to two's offering for Alkaline, you saw that they definitely incorporate real instruments into the music. Yeah, that, that's true. And most of our analog music, or, or I'm sorry, and most are analog instruments. But if you noticed in that video next to two's drum kit, he was at one point playing another instrument, an electronic drum pad. Yep, saw that right at the beginning. There are times in Sleep Token songs where there are digital sounds, but these are not computer generated beats. These sounds are still being played live by Two himself on his electronic drum kit. Two is inspired by many musical genres, and in order to integrate those influences into his drumming and musical approach, he will sometimes utilize an e-drum pad in conjunction with his acoustic drum kit. We saw, we've seen a lot of drummers do that. Neil Peart did it for decades. Uh, keep in mind as you listen to not only the songs you've already heard from Sleep Token, but also future tracks, including this one, Like That. Uh, one last note, Two has said that this song, Like That, just like Higher from their first album, Sundowning, which you reacted to several months ago, is one of his personal favorites to play live. Okay, so I'm expecting some really nice drumming then. Let's see, this was posted by Sleep Token. Shocking. And the video has 1.5 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Like that. That's all I got. <laughs> Look, th this is the this is the video that I was given by by Charles. So if, if we're not in the right spot, don't blame me. <laughs> blame Charles. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Be 
I don't hate it. I kind of like it. Um, it's not my favorite song. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's my favorite song that I've heard from Sleep Token. But uh, it it's at at the very least, it's interesting. Um, the very beginning of the song, purely from a rhythmic standpoint and from a meter standpoint. That was really being handled by the vocals. If you follow the vocal meter, you found four. You know, one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. What was happening within the drums really was not following any type of meter. It was really kind of free going. It was free flowing. Um, up until about... I would say about 45 to 50 seconds in, and then all of a sudden the drums came in and established a very clearly defined meter of four, uh, following with, with the vocals. Um, and it got fuller as a result, because now all of a sudden the drums aren't just doing you know a beat here, and a beat here, and a beat here, and a beat here. It, it, it was... It was far more structured, far fuller sounding from the drums, which was nice. Vocals didn't change at all. Vocals kept doing exactly what they were doing from the very beginning. It was perfectly linear to what had been done prior. Uh, the drums completely evolved, though. And now we're adding more voices to fill out the sound. I'm not bored. The song does not sound one-directional or one-dimensional. Uh, it's changing up, it's evolving, it's moving. I like that. I definitely like that. Um, so I can honestly say it's not my favorite song, but I don't dislike it, and I definitely don't hate it. Uh, I think I like it. I think I do as a whole. Um, at the very least, I can say it's interesting. And it's it's definitely engaging. So it's it's good across the board. I got I got no issue with it. Um let's keep going here. Now we have no percussion. You have to follow the vocals now to find the meter.
Weißbürger. High drum in there. Not bad. Not bad. Not my favorite. Not by any stretch, but not bad. Not bad at all. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Sleep Token with Like That. Uh, this was a request from Charles B. And this was actually one of Charles's three prioritized requests for the month of October for being a gold tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Charles. Hope you enjoyed the show, man. Okay. Let's just get to the score and we'll, we'll go from there. This is probably not going to be a long review. This is probably going to be pretty short at least by my review standards, meaning it'll probably be under 10 minutes. But then again, you never know with me. So we'll just kind of play it by ear, I guess. But let's start with the score. On a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give this a 7.6. Yep, 7.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. First things first, a 7.6, what does that mean? Well, a 7.6 would translate to a really good skill rating, so I, I think overall this was a really good song. It would get four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So there you go, 7.6, really good skill rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, is the song bad? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, not by any stretch. Um, there was nothing about the song that I disliked. I liked everything about it. I liked some things more than others. Um, but there was no negative points in this song at all. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The, the first, the first like 30, uh, less than that, about the first 20 seconds before the vocals came in. I, I'm not gonna lie, folks. I was a little worried. Uh, it was sounding really thin. It was feeling, it was sounding really empty and it was all sounding digital. So I, I, I was sitting to my, going to myself, okay, we, we've seen this before. You know, we, we've, seen, we've seen Sleep Token do stuff like this before where it all sounds digital at the very beginning and then it opens up. Okay, so let's, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's, let's not push the panic button. Okay, this is, this, no, this is, hey, hey, listen, do not sound the alarm. This is not a time to panic, okay? We're not panicking right now. It's it's gonna be fine. Because eventually, the vocals came in. And the, the, the percussion didn't really change up. It was still sporadic with no real established meter. It was very free form. But the vocals came in and the vocals established the meter of 4-4. And I was like, okay, that's a different approach. That's interesting. And then the drums came in fully. Where the drums came in and the drums took over and the drums took the responsibility of establishing the meter from there on out. The vocals, of course, fit within the meter that they had already established and the drums basically encapsulated that meter that had been established by the vocals and set up a, a rhythmic pattern that fit accordingly. Very cool, very, very unusual approach to songwriting, but it works, it absolutely works. I don't hate it, I absolutely don't hate it. It's a little different than what we're used to, but that's okay. Uh, and then later on, about where I paused, the song opened up and it got full with the addition of other voicings. Um, I'm glad they did that. I am glad they did that. Now, could, here, here's an interesting theory. What if that happened happened? What if we had just kept going how we were when the drums came, came in with an actual rhythmic pattern, fitting the meter that was established, fitting around the meter that was established by the vocals? If the entire song had been like that, would it have been okay? I'm gonna probably surprise some people and I'm gonna say yes. If they had continued 
for the remainder of the song without the addition of those voices i still think the song would have been okay i don't think we'd be up in the sevens but i i think we would have been in the high sixes it would have been it still would have been all right it still would have been more it would have been better than all right it would have been pretty good um the rhythmic patterns that the drummer was that that too was establishing uh especially in those like last 30 seconds where he was really filling out uh really doing some great subdivision runs um it sounded nice it, 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 it diversified the song without question uh the additional voices though don't get me wrong they were a welcome addition <laughs> definitely welcome kept us up in the sevens for sure um charles said that uh two has said that this song is one of his personal favorites to play live i can see why i, I could definitely see why um opening up in the beginning and just having just an, a, a free form pattern leading into a structured pattern leading into drum fill city uh i i can see why that just the constant evolution within the drums i get it i can see why this would be one of his favorites to play live and i i absolutely agree i i think as a drummer it, it would be a fun tune to play for sure really give him a chance to showcase what he's capable of so yeah um everything was solid across the board i got no complaints about it i think it was very well done so yeah a 7.6 i have no complaints and i feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay so let's wrap everything up here in nice shiny bow shall we we have a 7.6 which is a really good scale rating four to five stars and a b plus letter grade take your pick i don't care whichever one of those floats your boat final word final score i have spoken well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.